Hello, Clayne and Max. How are you? Very well. Thank you? you. Thanks for having us. Awesome. Congratulations on the channel arriving in select theaters uh, and on demand July 14. Man, this movie is badass to the bone. The shootouts were intense, one after the other. After the other, it's everything I wanted from action drama thriller. Um, guys, when it comes to heist with lots of firepower, usually the first thing that comes to mind standard-wise is Michael Mann's Heat. But you guys practically gave that movie a run for their money. Talk to me about staging those shootouts, those firepower scenes to make them appear very visceral. And how many different types of weapons and guns did you guys use? Because it looks like a lot. <clears throat> Definitely lots of weapons and, you know, a lot of training. Will is, uh, he is, he's got great guys around him. Uh, Scott Phelps is uh, a former Navy SEAL. And he, we hit the ground running with him. As soon as we got into New Orleans, we were out at the range. Uh, and we just kind of started working through the choreography of that uh, that opening scene at the bank. Um, and then just a lot of, you know, familiarizing ourselves uh, or re-familiarizing ourselves with the material, with the with the uh, firearms, uh, just a lot of safety protocol. You know, we were right on the hills of rust. Uh, Max and I have made quite a few films uh, as it relates to um, uh, weapons and firearms. You know, I think we've, we're have we always military, just about everything we've done. Um, so Max and I are quite comfortable, uh, but it's always nice to have that refresher course uh, and to meet all the individuals you'll be working with and kind of understand their language, you know, so that there's clear communication throughout. Uh, and then that allows you to just go and have fun on the day, right? Once the cameras start rolling, then just get out there and enjoy the process. Both your characters are not only brothers, but also brothers in arms, uh, very convincing, very believable. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, um, and forgive me if I missed out, uh, but is this the first time that you two have ever worked together, or have you both ever worked previously on a project together before? What's that experience like? In other words, uh, this is the chance for you guys to complement each other. So this is actually our fourth project together. We nice. Did a, yeah, we did a, a movie in Australia in 2001. And uh, for, for Miramax, it was a World War II film. And then we did a, a sci-fi military film in Hungary together. We did a, a HBO pilot for Alan Ball together. And, uh, and, and now this. So, you know, we, we, we've, but we became really good friends from the first one on. And, and we've stayed uh, super tight. And, uh, you know, we're, we're like brothers and we played brothers. And, you know, so it was, I mean, it, like, I think it's one of the things that I, I was telling our director, we're very fortunate that Clayne and I have that history that we can, you know, bring to these characters already. So we don't have to try to act it out. It's already there. And, uh, and so I think it translates on screen. And, you know, uh, we, uh, we've been dying to actually sink into something because in everything that we've done we haven't really had the opportunity to dig into to to to, to see actual like lengthy scenes and storylines and character arcs and so this gave us that opportunity and it was super fun and and uh, i think we uh, i think we smashed it man uh and just everything max said i mean the reason why not i, I don't know if it's the reason why i said yes but when Max called and he told me that he had been offered one of the roles <clears throat> and Max was originally offered the, the FBI agent and I was originally offered Max's role. Okay. So he called me up and was like, dude, we've got to play. This is the perfect opportunity. This is something we've been talking about forever. They both want us for the movie. Let's just play these guys. And, uh, and I couldn't have agreed more. I mean, I read the material and it was right there for us. Uh, and then luckily Will was on board. So uh, we got into town and we hit the ground running, man. Now, some of the action sequences in this film were incredible. Uh, the beginning that had the night vision where you, Clayne, did that first person point of view. And at one point the cops were chasing you, Max, through the house after house after house, relentlessly as the camera kept following you guys. I get what I'm getting at is I get the sense that uh, William uh, is the kind of director that strikes me as a, a filmmaker who likes to push the boundaries of what uh, his budget or his own production limit <laughs> allows him, uh, but it pays off. Uh, so number one, did you guys do your own stunts? And number two, what were the challenges of pulling off those sequences? Um, we did do our own stunts. Uh, and I, again, 
I don't know if there were any challenges other than, you know, we do, have, it was limited resources. You know, this is a, a smaller film and Will is extremely ambitious, um, but because of his attention to detail and because of the amount of time he gave us to prep, uh, it allowed for a very smooth process. Um, you know, when you do the work, uh, it allows you to show up on the day and, and have a lot of confidence. And with confidence comes become, you know, comes freedom, right? Uh, and freedom of, for an actor is, is, is really everything. That's the key to success. Um, and I, I think we, the reason why this film works so well is because we had such a good leader. You know, it starts with Will, and he's a guy that just does not come to work with an ego. He's very blue collar. Um, and he just has a lot of respect for everyone that's there doing their job, um, from grip and electric to DP, you know, actors and so forth. So when you have that at the top, um, it kind of sets the tone. And, uh, when you have, when there's that much respect on set, um, it's difficult to fail. Yeah. I mean, you know, look, I think that having limited resources often, uh, ironically, uh, you know, forces you to be more creative and, uh, and you often end up with, with more interesting photography, you know, I mean, Plain and I have done huge, huge films and, and, you know, some of these sequences that took us, you know, a day to shoot would take a week to shoot on a big film and, and, uh, you know, uh, and I think they're better quite honestly, like, you know, you, maybe you get a little bit more production value in a bigger film with more money, but, but, uh, but I, for me, it's more interesting, you know, not having it and having to kind of like figure out how to make it interesting with what you have. Um, but yeah, super fun. And, and we did our own stunts and we, and, you know, and it was like guerrilla filmmaking. It was running and gunning, you know, I mean, we weren't at that level, but, uh, but, you know, it definitely often feels like, uh, you're part of the team, you know, more part of the team than you would be on a bigger film. How significant was it to have shot this film in New Orleans? Because it seems that to me, New Orleans is like the unsung supporting character in this film. How much did shooting this project on location in that city help with your performances? Well, I mean, the, the movie's called The Channel and the Irish Channel is a, is a section of New Orleans. So, I mean, it, it was written for this city um Klain and I have shot here a ton it's it's a great place to film uh you know it's it's very interesting to shoot there's a lot of uh wild architecture and and the homes of you know especially in this little Irish Channel neighborhood are really cool and beautiful and there's little pubs where you would think uh your neighbor's home should be they stuck a bar you know and like yeah i mean it was anyway it was a lot of fun and and uh so you know new orleans is a character in the movie and uh and you get that kind of sense of mystery when you're watching it i mean it adds that kind of mysterious element to the film oh man i can't wait to to have all my fans go check this out like i said it's everything i wanted from a action drama thriller and i can't to wait to watch it again on uh, July 14 in theaters and on demand. Max and Klein, thank you so much for talking to me and congratulations.